The latest cop drama to hit CBS primetime is The Bridge, which takes you deep inside the inner workings of a big city police force, zeroing in on the three Ps, police, power, and politics. But there will be no police funeral. Yeah, there will. Did you say? I said, yes, there will be a police funeral. What's your name and division? Frank Leo, Bridge Division. Frank Leo is the newly elected head of the police union's 8,000 members and a guy who knows his way around. He was a cop for a number of years and now he is running the union, taking care of cops and fighting the brass. And you and I will also know that you're an insubordinate pain in the ass who just caught a very big break for me. And now you owe me. As union chief, he's part-time father figure, part-time enforcer, but his main role is to take care of the men and women in uniform, along with his close friend and confidant, Tommy Dunn. He's the union rep before Frank gets elected, and uh, there's a little bit of you know tension there when you know Frank sort of surpasses him. They never would all follow me out like that. But you, you got that thing, that light. No, Tommy, don't say that. I'm no different than you. Yeah, you are. Keeping tabs on Frank's personal life isn't easy. Jill is a fellow detective during business hours. She is a major crimes detective. The cool thing about Jill is she is the one with the attitude. But a whole lot more outside the office. I had way too much to drink and um, my girlfriend wouldn't understand. It's an interesting relationship. He and I kind of had an on and again, off again love affair. And then, you know, it developed into he's now in a relationship with Anna Grauer's character, the lawyer. So our man Frank is juggling two women. They become involved a bit, but I think they understand and respect each other for sure. It's a really interesting relationship. I'm excited to see it develop a lot. You said you had a boyfriend. You said you'd know if I was lying. The show's appeal is getting a bird's eye view into the world of police work rarely seen by anyone. The cops are not the heroes all the time. It's not your typical show where you tie it up in a nice little bow at the end of every episode. And there's a lot of things that happen in police forces around the world that the average citizen doesn't know about. And we put those on display. For those interested in getting down and dirty into the world of a big city police department, this show has your number. You know, it's got action, it's got comedy. I don't think this show pulls any punches. It's got something to say, and hopefully people respond to it. Cops keep the world going. Not the guys in the white suits up in the ivory tower. They don't do it. It's the guys in the cars, the men and women on the streets walking around, and that's what we show. We show just how difficult it is to be a cop, but how rewarding it can be and how amazing these people are.